Recently, I was legit going to throw away my Tick Watch E. But then something changed. Huh. It was a long time coming. Even friends noticed that I wasn't wearing it anymore. I went running without it. It sat in a drawer. But then a couple of weeks ago, tiles happened. Tiles are the latest in a series of tweaks that Google are making to pull Wear OS further in line with the Apple Watch. They are mini apps just to swipe left of the watch face away, much in the same way that the swipe system was added in the latter half of last year. Now, if you're not a TickWatch owner, but you have a watch with Wear OS, you might have noticed that my first tile is Google Fit. And that might raise some questions, like how is that any different than what's already been available for Wear OS since the September update? And that's because for TickWatch, it actually hasn't been. When the manufacturer Movoy pushed that update, instead of seeing Fit when you swiped left, you saw their own health platform, Tick Health, with no way to change it and no way to turn it off altogether. When users complained, they were given a vague time frame of a few months that the option would be added. One rep actually said that their current plans were to continue to improve the Tick Health app. So for eight months when I swiped left, it was a constant reminder that while Wear OS were trying to make efforts to stay relevant and competitive, Movoy were there to stymie that. And then Movoy were throwing it in adopters' faces. People like me. They knew what they were doing. Now, tiles are at the moment fairly limited. Sure, it's early days, but they have breathed so much new life into this watch for me. It was such a re-up of my enthusiasm. But now I know what type of company Mogboy is. And who's to say in their products tomorrow, their other watches, maybe tiles will be gone. Maybe they'll take out other features because they have a competing product. We, we, know what they, what, we know what they like now. It's not just all tile complaints from me though. Around the same time last year, the connectors, the metal connectors used for charging on the back of the watch started to show some wear and it started to become very difficult to charge the watch. Now I've, I've mastered how to meet up the metal connectors for now, but that's assuming that they don't degrade anymore. TickWatch did send me a new watch in response to this, accidentally. Could this be a new watch? All I asked for was a new charger. Oh my God, it is. It's, an, it's, it's another watch. I did think about keeping the second unit as perhaps a testing unit or just as a replacement of this one, considering that it was kind of last days, but I decided to sell it instead because I feel disheartened by Mobvoi and I kind of, once this goes, this will probably be my last Mobvoi built device. Just a small note too, I cared so little about this watch by the end of last year that I only noticed today in researching for this video that they'd added the option to change the swipe left to fit, to Google fit, in late December last year. So, egg on my face. It was too late though. Mobvoi should have added that option in before they put the update out. It was a foreseeable issue. I mean, come on Mobvoi. But tiles are mad though. And if you are in the market for a smartwatch, Wear OS should definitely be on your radar. Just don't skimp on a tick watch though. Hey, over here in this box, like and subscribe for more tech videos. I have so many more videos coming, a lot more to cover, a lot more to say, a lot more complaints. Come and, and hit subscribe and, 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 and the like and comment, comment as well. Comment, uh, enough rambling. Uh, I'm out of time, I'm out of time.